Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> ow! 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 Hide! Wait! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the ghast! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? You know it! So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Skewered! <laughs> Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat> Jesse, 
There she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Elega, but I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. No idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> what am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy.
Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? Hmm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. You'll see. I'm gonna be Eligard's protege for sure. For sure! Redstone repeater, that's just what I need. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Can't help but notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't oh, want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of... Super Pig! <laughs> Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Right. Hey. Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. Congratulations. You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no! 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 So high! Going so very high! Sorry! That's okay! Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself! Tell your friends about my invention! Spent ages on it! Wow! Nothing. <laughs> Worth a shot, I guess. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, crazy, right? She she just took off. I guess she just really wanted to fly. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid. Cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. She's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh! Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed! Be astounded! Let your wonders be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me the one with all the sugar cane. Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, <laughs> well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. But those poor cows. <laughs> Please. They love it! Probably. Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. A lot of cookies with all that. Level with me. Do you just make cookies, like, all the time? Huh. I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. Oh, I love cookies. You taking care of those cows yet? Uh. <sighs> Guess not. Could you please try and do something about that? Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out.
How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Elgard's dome, no can do. Sorry. It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Stone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. 
Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying you. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Deliver- Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and... Genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself, then. Come on, come on, come on! Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew, kinda glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <sighs> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. 
It's very, very dangerous. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. So sorry. 